come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you, throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, they not the habits, man. Step up! These are the moments oh. when everybody gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self defense, no matter what. These are the moments when every gangster gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self defense. In Jamaica's relentless war and crime, the worst criminals end up on the True Island Stories platform. These are their stories. My wife Jenny can be described as a vile narcissist, and that's me putting it mildly. She was always ambiguous with her sexuality, and mentions were often made of her intent on satisfying her erotic curiosity. Her promiscuity was realized one day when she said to me, Gee, I've met someone. When someone tells you, I've met someone, there's always an underlying meaning afoot. Usually, treachery. So my prying mind questioned her meaning. What do you mean you've met someone? When really? I didn't give two shits. I was merely being entertaining. I didn't care less if she had met a rolling calf, the three-headed monster tail told to us by our parents as kids in Jamaica that scared the living daylights out of us. <laughs> she responded, a woman. I've met a woman. And she seems nice, but I don't know. What do you think? Think? What do I think? I can't think. <laughs> it's not up to me. Furthermore, I haven't met her, so it wouldn't be prudent of me to give you an accurate diagnosis. Have us meet, then I could perhaps give words more befitting her likeness. Okay, I will. I'll bring her over next week and introduce you both. Yet another foolish gesture by her of leashing the cunning fox in her fleshed hen house. I agreed, with no such intentions, of course. But had I been carved from a more unscrupulous fabric, then, you know, she introduced us on the day. She was dark skinned, about five feet four inches, with very red lips and pretty white teeth. She was big boned, you know, big boned construct, which was quite proportionate. She had a nice, you know, big sized booty, and she was quite pleasant, if I can remember correctly. I gave her the thumbs up, and then their romance began. One day, my wife confided in me, by her own choosing, of course. She told me our girlfriend made love to her in the most romantic and exotic way. It was like nothing she had ever experienced prior. She told me how gentle her touch was, how her tongue was soft as velvet, feasting on her inner delicacies, invoking organisms like in the death of Mount Vesuvius volcanic eruption in Pompeii, leaving her spasming uncontrollably in her aftercome zone, having no sympathy for my past performances in her vaginal cavities. Sympathies far removed in her undermining my masculinity. But I played along with her little game and massaged her ego by showering her with accolades of her own prowess in the lovemaking department. Anything else would see me buried beneath a pile of rubble of my own device. Okay, let's go back a bit and revisit the awkward moment when Jenny and I pulled up in her front yard to find her ex parked in his blue beamer waiting for her. And in that very moment, she froze me out on sight. A still a very traumatizing moment when it revisits my memories. I remember quite vividly how she alighted from the car and walked over to his car. She bent over and they exchanged pleasantries. Then both of them went inside and stayed approximately 15 minutes in her room. While I, the despondent, remained rooted in the Ben's bucket as if I was sitting in an overturned box of dried up glue. Then they both came back outside and she kissed him on the cheek and bid him goodbye. And he left, only to witness the germ incubus return for seconds in the midnight hour to welcome in arms of my bewed. I was on the porch sitting down working on my laptop at the time when the unforgiven arrived and she opened the door for him and he walked right past me without even a glimpse acknowledging my presence. No. It was as if I was transparent to them both. Inside the pits of my stomach churned like a granulator. You know that machine that grinds up wood and spits out the debris at a high velocity? I was literally dying inside. 
And indeed, the truth is sometimes a stranger than fiction, it is said. But I swear on all that I hold dear to me, I am speaking the truth. She has no soul whatsoever. She's truly a certified savage. A mindless ogre from the putrid on the bellies of hell. But wait, you think you have heard the best? No, the worst. The room I was staying in was adjacent to hers at the time. It was only separated by a thin layer of sheetrock. Every single sound that emitted from both rooms were very, very audible to the hustling and unhustling eardrums. I heard every stroke, every stab, every moan, every ecstatic screams, every ecstatic screams. That man came prepared to damage her internally. He attacked her like a rabid mongrel, as if he was sending me a message. It is I, the Asian Mandingo, whose hardened members buried deep in the contours of your wife's reservoir. And guess what? There ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. Rah, rah, rah. He pounded her coat relentlessly. Each stab was like a dagger to my flailing heart. He showed her no mercy on the night. Her screams of ecstasy could be heard miles away. At one point, I feared the cops would barge in and rescue the Rapunzel who was in distress, being daggered to death by penal penetration. That night seemed as if it would never end. I barely slept a wink. And so did they, it seemed. The next morning, he got up, showered, and walked right past me on the porch around 9.30 a.m. The same place he walked past me going in was the same place he walked past me leaving. And guess what that little low-life geezer did while he walked past me? <laughs> he wouldn't believe if I told you, but anyway, I will. The morpho stopped less than a foot away from me and winked. Can you believe that? I mean, who does that? That wink sliced my lower torso from my upper. That's the moment that solidified my theory that they were both complicit in humiliating me. They were in cahoots. I was so hurt, I called the only person whose words I knew could calm me, my mom. I told her what happened and told her how hurt and disrespected I felt, but I didn't tell her of my dark intentions. My cup was full to the brim. The dark side of my cerebral was directing me down a path of no return, a path of total darkness. After I told my mom, she listened keenly, but the sympathy I yearned for was not forthcoming from her. My mom's response was stern and direct. She said, what's your name? And I told her. She said, where are you from? And I told her Jamaica. And she asked, well, uh, how me grow you? Me grow you soft or me grow you rough? I slowly answered, rough moms. And then she said, look. You are my son, and I know you're hurting, but you have to man up and be whatever she throws at you. Focus on the destination and not the journey. Remember we're used to our hangings, so little chokings can't kill you. The darkest part of the night is just before daylight, and guess what? The most light. Her words empowered me. You will not leave that dwelling without it, you hear me? <laughs> I heeded her words and continued my fight into the dark unknowns. I called my sister and also my close friend Power and told them, and they both told me to pack up and leave. I don't deserve such cruelty. I called my other close friend who lived in Fort Lauderdale, whose name is Kettel. It was his house I ended up moving to later on in my story. And he said, gee, and these were his words in verbatim. Shaw, right now, a she a win. She have one foot in her neck right now, da. But you more you do. You see her next foot, hold it and put it in her neck. I guess what? One day, you're gonna remove both her feet from her neck permanently. And so when that day come, she will never ever be able to put her foot in your neck again. You see them time there, and you are gonna have your foot in her neck and she'll beg you for mercy. Man a man. If you can go as far as you can see, when I get there, you'll be able to see much further where you're telling me, sir. He also reminded me of the leader he knew me to be whilst growing up together as kids in Jamaica. How I was the first to achieve big whips on the blocks, etc, etc, etc. I valued his and my mom's advice and refocused my attention on the prize ahead. My American green card. I am Joy. Peppa. You know the real J-Tenga, huh? 
How I grow up, sometime, the road tough side slow <laughs> Real patriots never buck, never fall How they get to run, that's why Back from the boy, who don't do that? Who? Uh. Who no can kill with Jai, who no boy? Who from your soul don't know what wrong boy? Yo, eh and a man bust a shot him off a pack up and foot Mind it on him head back and foot Pop off him strap on him friend him for door None of that eh. <laughs> No assumption, I saw the ground rock Power, marital corruption Criminal, break from limited options Ten generation, I see the said song One one head man will live long, name one so if I bury with no Dan, name one One good and this politician, name one Get a youth, Brazilian class Back from the boy, who no do that? Who? Who no can kill with Jai, who no do that? Who from your soul don't know what wrong boy? Yo, yo, yo a man better go And a man bust a shot him off a back up and go Bank it on him head back and go Pop off him strap and him friend him for door None of that, yo a man better Things risky, for the misfit Dead trade fit the logistic Chris Chris Ha! I want the biscuit Be a tough crackers when we whisk it uh, You're not listening Crime live here so it's not visiting Visitors careful they know what the business is Murder, plunder, pillage in who? Bloodshed in all the villages You name it, you will live in it Get rich and do special delivery Nightmare Tormented images Vengeance Blood the cycle continuing But No you seek that But it's no revenge Looking at the mirror There is no different Man we full of Hey How we know we trends Back from the boy Who no do that Who uh, Who no can tell we jaw Who no boy Who from your soul Don't know who are and who Yup Now a man better When a man bust No shot him off a back up and who Mind it on him head back and who Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that yo a man better be No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, marital corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, passing the set song One one head man will live along Name one, one. him say fall up with the no. oh, Name one, one honest politician Name one who Then get to you three zillion Fuck from the boy who no do that Who? Can't kill with child on the back Who from your soul don't know what wrong boy eh? Yo, yo a man better go Any man bust a shot him off a pack up and go Find it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him for do it No, 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 Yo, you know the thing going up, suck a seat up a beat, you know Hey man, take your time man Go, 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 man Go